Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It's Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween. There's our pumpkin we carved over the weekend. And it's the last day. I don't know when my Halloween decorations will come down, but I'm going to drink out of my Halloween cup. It is Monday. Um, I don't think that Mason's going to have practice. We haven't heard from Coach. Um, hopefully he doesn't. Um, don't know if he has any plans for tonight. I know he can dress up for school today. They have to pay money if they want to dress up in a Halloween costume, which is smart of the school. That's how they're going to raise some money. I don't think he's going to wear a costume today, though. But it's Monday. We did nothing over the weekend. Had the most relaxing weekend ever, and I am still exhausted. And it's still, when my alarm went off this morning, I'm like, ugh. But at least it's Halloween. That makes it a little bit better, so. All right, drink some coffee. Let's have a good week. Just got back home. I had to run some errands. I got my trick-or-treat shirt on. I'm ready to go for tonight. Um, and while I was out, I decided to pick up dinner. So if you've been following us for a while, you know on Halloween I normally put a pot of chili in the crock pot and have it cook all day. And you can eat when you want to eat. But we just had chili and it wasn't sounding good, so. I think we did this a few years ago. Um, I went to Papa Murphy's and got their jack-o'-lantern pizza. It doesn't really look like it right now, but when it's cooked, so there's its eyes, nose, mouth. It's got the little stem there. I'll just pop that in the oven and we'll have dinner whenever we're ready to eat dinner. Um, it is a double whammy tonight too, you guys. We have a trick-or-treater is gonna be coming to the house, plus, it's game three of the World Series, so I'm, I'm trying to debate if I should just put out a bucket of candy so I can watch the, the baseball game, or look at all the trick-or-treaters, hand out candy like I normally do on the um, sidewalk out front. I don't know, it, it's, it's, it's bad timing, you guys. I really wanna watch the World Series, so stay tuned. Um, I also picked up some garlic bread, just in case that wasn't enough for, um, my boys, especially my growing boy, my 16 year old who likes to eat. And then of course, when you buy this, I'm paying and she's like, oh, you might as well pick up cookie dough because you can get it for like $3. Not that we need this, it is Halloween, but it was $3, so why not? And for the record, you guys, we, I probably should say I, did not open my bag of candy for the trick or treaters this year. I'm so proud of myself. If you go back and watch that vlog, I was like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And I didn't. But yes, the little chocolate things that I said that will get me through for the next two weeks, I think there's like four left. So I ate those instead of the trick-or-treater candy there. I'm good to go. And I also have Pirate's Booty to hand out. So should be good. But that's going to be dinner tonight. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And it's super cute. All right, the boys are home from school and work. Um, it is currently raining in Philly right now. Like, not just like a drizzle, like a full-on rain. The field has the tarp on it. I don't think that game three is going to get off tonight, which kind of stinks. But like I said, it's Halloween, and I have to hand out candy to the trick-or-treaters. So I think I'm okay with it. But with that being said, it is Halloween. Mr. Ace... He's been rocking his bandana. He's spoiled, you guys. He has two Halloween costumes. So before the boys head out to go get some hitting in tonight before trick-or-treating and all that fun stuff, I think we're gonna put his first costume on. So this one's a little bit more comfortable for him. And then you have to stay tuned because he does have a second costume. But um, it is time. All right, there's his before. All right, ready? One, two, and three. Ace. Ace. Here, here, sit. Sit. He does not like those. Ace no, Ace. doesn't like the bandana. Okay. Ace. There you go, buddy. All right, what is Ace? Three foot nine inch out of Phoenix, Arizona. Ace Bevo. Oh. <laughs> so he's our little basketball player. You ready? He's so handsome. We're doing tricks. Sit. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Happy Halloween, Ace. Oh, missed that one. Off the tooth. 
There we go, good job, buddy. We're getting ready. Just put all the candy in the bowl, put it by the front door, just in case we get the early trick-or-treater. But the boys just got home from hitting, about ready to put in. First will be the garlic bread, and then our jack-o'-lantern pizza. And for Ace, I'm gonna quickly put some of this pumpkin on his licky mat, put it in the freezer, and then he can have a special treat tonight for his Halloween. The appetizer is in our belly. Garlic cheese bread was amazing. But before the trick-or-treaters show up, I think it's time for a change of costume for this doggo. What do you think, Ace? <laughs> He's like, are you gonna go get it? It is in that room. All right. Ace, you're a hot dog. There's his Halloween costume. Mason saw it. We actually were in five below. We already had the basketball costume that we got at Target like a long time ago. But we were in five below. Mason's like, we have to, and it was only $5. So I was like, all right, Ace can have two costumes this year. <laughs> and this one's not as comfortable, huh? Oh, there you go. There you go. Look at that. Oh. You're so handsome. Oh, He's like, why do you guys do this that's to me? That's a good boy. <laughs> that's a good boy. That's a good boy. There you go. He likes mustard on his hot dogs, apparently. Good boy. I promise I have a yummy treat coming for you, okay? Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. I'm a little nervous, you guys. We've only had three trick-or-treaters. I don't know what it is with our neighborhood. The last few years, I always thought maybe it was because of COVID, but I'm also thinking all the kids in our neighborhood are all getting older, like Mason, so they don't really trick or treat anymore. I don't know. I might get stuck with a lot of candy and that's not good. <laughs> no, it's not. There's our jack-o'-lantern pizza. You can kind of see it's a little cheesy, but we just pulled that out. It smells yummy. Ace is doing all right. He's barked a few times. He's just a little confused, like why we keep going to the door. He's still rocking his hot dog. Do you love Halloween or do you hate it? <laughs> I'm sorry. He's a good boy. You guys, we ended up having some trick-or-treaters. <laughs> um, I went through all of my Pirate's Booty, which was a 40 pack, so we had at least 40 trick-or-treaters, plus more because I ran out and just started giving handfuls of, I was giving one Pirate's Booty and then a candy or two to each trick-or-treater and then that's what I have left over not much but we still we just had somebody knock on the door right now so I think we'll have some late comers let's see it's like what 7 30 yeah 7 30 so we might get a few but I I figure it's a school night by 8 o'clock that'll probably be it but Mason's out hanging out with his friends he does have a curfew he's a good kid he'll be home so we got the football game going on. Wish we were watching the baseball game, but like I said, I think it worked out that the game wasn't on tonight because we were outside for most of the night, so. Ace, how was your trick-or-treating? He went outside for a little bit, he did all right. What was that, a big like dinosaur that came up? It was a... <laughs> blow up. <laughs> like out of all the times that Jack decides... that, and then... Jack decides to bring him out and then like, yeah. That one just, he, he's like, I don't know Flavorful. about that one. Yeah, he was like, mm, no. Which I don't blame him. It was a little creepy. <laughs> good try, though. Good try, good, buddy. Really good. Yep. So I think that's going to be a wrap of our Halloween. Hopefully you guys had a good one and were safe and had fun. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Hopefully everybody survived Halloween, but it is Tuesday. Mason's actually about ready to head off to baseball. He has a scrimmage tonight. But you guys, guess what came in time for game three? Ace is gonna be watching game three in style. You guys, I really didn't think this was gonna come. Um, I think I talked about it in our last vlog. I ordered this, when did I order this? When they clinched. And then um, I didn't think it was, it finally showed up. So here it is. That's gonna go on Ace. It's game three, no rain in Philly, right Jack? No. No rain in Philly, so. We got a lot going on. Mason has to leave for a scrimmage. That stinks for him. But we also have game three on. So good luck, have fun, do your best. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Good job, fellas.
I mean, I don't know how much money you for, but that's the deductible of the metal car. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Sorry if you can hear the laundry. It's almost done, so it gets loud at the end here, but Dilly's one last night. You guys, it was quite the night. The final score was seven to zero. I think they had like five home runs, I believe. I kind of lost track, but right off the bat, Harper hit a home run. It was awesome. They just hit, 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 and that's what we were saying. We need the Phillies to hit against these Astro pitchers, and so far, so good. Um, we get to do it all over again tonight, so yes. And this is my, oh, can you guys see it? It's the NOLA shirt. I stole it from Mason. <laughs> Thanks, Mace. Yeah, we have NOLA on the mound tonight, so. Can we do it again? Time will tell. But what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is run, I, I gotta go to Walmart, grab a couple things, um, and then I wanna come home and pull down all of the Halloween decorations and then maybe just pile them up on the table in the front room there. I don't know when Jack's gonna be able to get all my totes out. I'm hoping between tomorrow and maybe tonight, he'll do that for me so I can get all this stuff put away and get the house situated. Um, but we got the Phillies on tonight. We got the Phillies on tomorrow night. So we'll see. I'm hoping that'll get done. So all right, I'm gonna head to Walmart, um, get a few things, and be home in time to take down decorations and get the Phillies on and have an early dinner. And Mason has practice. I don't know why, I'm just rambling. I'm a little excited. I can't believe the Phillies are doing this well against the Astros, but here we go. Game number what? So this t the series is now, Phillies up two to one, so this is game four tonight. Game four tonight. <sighs> the stress, the anxiety, all the things. <laughs> all right, I just got back from Walmart, and when Mason gets home from school, you guys, he's gonna be so excited. Look what I found. Tis the season. I mean, Halloween is officially over. Time for Christmas. This was so hard to find last year. Uh, Mason loves it and it only comes out this time of the year. So I got him a bottle of that. He's gonna be super excited. And I also got his favorite, I can only find it at Walmart, his Milo Sweet Tea. He loves it. I already put it in the refrigerator, so he has that to drink when he gets home. And I also found these. I don't know if the boys, you know, Jack loves Tasty Cakes. He's from Philly. Um, this is so funny with my Philly shirt on right now. <laughs> It's like a commercial thing. Um, anyways, I don't know if they've ever had the mini muffins. So I know it's Halloween. Should have been like discounted, but I don't think it was. Um, so while I was paying, I saw those, picked those up. What else did I get? Just some snacks, some cleaning supplies. I got some fun scrunch, um, what are these? Claw clips. That's what that's called. And they had some clearance shirts and pajama bottoms for super cheap, so why not pick them up while I'm there? But that was just my little Walmart haul. Put it away, and like I said, I wanna take down all the Halloween decorations because clearly we're moving on to Christmas. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's a new day. Yesterday didn't go how we wanted it to. Talking about these guys. We got no hit. It's cra baseball's crazy how we, the day before it was 7-0 Phillies and then last night they no hit us. So that's baseball for you. How many times do I say that in our vlogs? That's baseball, but it's a new day. I'm not allowed to wear my NOLA shirt that I was wearing yesterday because every time I wear it, they lose. So Jack said, do not put that in rotation. So I'm back to my lucky red shirt. I completely changed the house around today, but don't worry. We still have our, if you watched before, Mason added um, 2008 World Series stuff to my decorations. It was Halloween, but got it all out. But now it's the fall, Thanksgiving. We got our turkeys out. I like it. Jack's wearing baby blue because that's what the Phillies are gonna be wearing tonight. Can't wait to see them. Mason wore his jersey with a sweatshirt because you guys, it felt like fall today. I don't even think we got into the 60s which is incredible and it rained it was a perfect day it, it, although it's beautiful out right now the rain has stopped but it rained all day so it allowed me to get the house 
put back together, put all my Halloween decorations away till next year. It's gonna be an easy dinner tonight. We're doing just raviolis from Trader Joe's. I've got breadsticks, Caesar salad. I'm about ready to whip that up. Sit down, watch the fills. What is this, game five? Game five. Game five, we're last tied 2-2. Yeah, last game in Philly, so after this game, they're going back to Houston, so we need to win tonight. <sighs> Also, it's Eagles, Texans tonight. Oh yeah, we gotta talk about that. We got the Eagles. Philly and Houston battling it out. So, everywhere. they could go 8-0, and right? Like, right? Is it 7-0 or 8-0? They're 7-0 right They're now. They're 7-0 right now. So if they win tonight, they will be 8-0. and We're more concerned with the baseball team from Philadelphia right now. Yes, we're, we're ready. You ready? He's ready. <laughs> He's hyped. He's, He's ready. ready. Be <laughs> All right. Who has been watching that long? Every time that video comes up in rotation, um, when we're doing like the eyes in the sky, Mason was was at when he was Nine. on Nine U. He got his uniform on. We were about ready to leave for a tournament, and he just it was the I don't know. It was funny. If you if you know what I'm talking about. Leave a comment down below. Jack did a little dance. Mason went Bevo because it said Bevo on the back of his jersey. Anywho, all right, let me get dinner started and <laughs> say it again. Let's go fill. I had to change things up. I had to make cookies. Hopefully, it's working, you guys. <laughs> These games are so stressful. Um, it's two to three right now. We are down. One out, we have somebody on third, so now we're at commercial. <laughs> Eagles won, so we got the win there. That's a plus. <laughs> I can't with these games though, I really can't. Look at my hair, <laughs> I'm a hot mess. All right, we got this. You chill over here, we got this, right? We got this. Happy Friday, everyone. We made it to the weekend, but what a roller coaster of a week it's been including last night, we don't want to talk about it, but the Phillies put themselves in a position where they must win tomorrow night on Saturday. So, <sighs> um, the boys are about ready to head off to get some hitting. I think Mason actually is going to be putting on his new grip. Oh yes, definitely, look at that. So we're going into a baseball weekend, so I think that's why he wants to get that done right now, and then they're off to go hit. So with that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. Don't forget to like this video, comment something in the comment section, subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.